Hey guys, today I'm going to do a boomer rant from this couch. I hope you guys don't mind. I've had a heck of a day already today. I've put in a full day's work today on a Sunday of all days. But, uh, you know, I've been trying to improve the audio quality of the office. I'm in the office today. And, you know, I've made four or five videos from this office. And with each and every video, the audio quality does seem to improve. But there's still a little bit of echo, still a little bit of reverb in this room. But, you know, I keep adding acoustic panels, I've hung some curtains, and I think the final piece of the puzzle, and this occurred to me two or three days ago, was what this office really needed was some more fabric. It needed a piece of furniture, it needed a couch, right? So what I did this morning is I went and got a love seat. I loaded it up myself, moved it myself, put it in this office myself, had to rearrange some of the furniture in the office, and I, I've... I'm wore out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to the gym today because I was going to do back day at the gym today. I don't have to do back day now. <laughs> I got that in. But uh, one of the things that I was thinking about doing is I, I was going to do a backyard boomerang, but instead, since I got the couch here, I just, you know, turned the camera around, pointed it to this couch, and we'll just do the backyard rant from here. And what was on my mind was I haven't had a home computer for about two weeks now. And it has really taught me some lessons because, you know, not having a, a computer at home, I haven't been on the Internet at all when I'm at home. You know, I come to this office to do some work for a few hours a day. Then I go home and I don't have any Internet. Right. I don't have you guys know I don't have a TV. I don't watch TV. So I'm, I'm completely disconnected from the world. I do have a phone. And I know the phone is always connected, but you guys know I don't actually use my phone as a computer, right? I, I, if I want to do something on a computer, I need a physical computer. I, I don't do any kind of real work on a phone. The only thing I have a phone for is to make phone calls. That's the only reason I have my phone. Occasionally, I send text messages. Uh, other than that, I don't like watch YouTube and Netflix and all of that kind of stuff on my phone. I, I'm not connected to social media or anything like that on my phone. So it's really strange. It's almost like going back to the 1990s. You know, I, if you guys were around in the mid 1990s, the early days of the Internet, it was really cool because you were disconnected from the Internet by default. Right. If you wanted to connect to the Internet, you had to dial in. We had dial up modems back then, which were uh, over your plain telephone lines. Right. So what you had to do was when you dialed in to get Internet, you actually did it over your phone line, meaning you didn't have a phone while you were on the Internet. So you couldn't receive phone calls on your landline at your house. Nobody had cell phones back then. Very few people did anyway. But, you know, that was that was nice. It was the opt in Internet, right? You had to opt in to be connected to the Internet. If I wanted to be on the Internet, I had to choose when to connect because I didn't want to tie up my phone if I was expecting phone calls. Right. So I planned it out. Hey, this, these few minutes, I'm going to jump on the Internet and do something, you know, whatever it is I wanted to do back then. And then when I was done, I had to hang up the phone so, you know, I could have my phone back at the house. And I like that. I like that approach. I like that opt in approach because right now everybody is connected 24 seven, right? If you have a home computer and you have standard, you know, cable internet or DSL, you're connected 100% of the time. You're connected by default, unless there's a problem with your service. Same thing with your phone, right? Your phone is connected 24 seven, 365. And why? Because you need to be able to get all of those emails and Facebook notifications and Twitter notifications, you know, and chat with your friends on discord, on your computer and on your mobile devices. And you're just bombarded constantly with all of this crap from the internet. And why is it healthy? Uh, it, do you think quality of life would improve without the Internet? And the last couple of weeks have taught me, yes, because, you know, when I'm sitting at home and I know I can't really do anything on my phone as far as computing, I have bad connection at my house, too, because it's kind of in a dead zone. So even if I wanted to do like mobile stuff on my phone, it, it's not a great uh, spot to do that kind of stuff in and also not having the computer. So what I'm doing is I'm just sitting there most of the time I'm sitting at the house and don't have a TV. And what do you do? You think, right? You just get lost in your thoughts. You'd be surprised how refreshing that is, how reinvigorating it is sometimes just to sit in a quiet room and think or to pick up a book and read. I can't remember the last time I read. I I'm, was an avid reader years ago, but here lately it's gotten 
to the point where anytime I want to read something, I get on the computer and I go read it at the computer. You know, if I go read wiki articles and things like that. And now the other day, you know, I picked up a book a couple of nights ago for the first time in years. And it was so refreshing. You know, a book I had read, you know, like 10, 15 years ago and re reread it. And it was great. It was one of the most enjoyable evenings I've had in a long time. And it, I, I, I fear for the kids, especially the young people today. Do they, because they don't know what life was before being connected 100% of the time was. You know, all they know is when they want to play a game. And, you know, I hear my young nieces and nephews all the time. Hey, I'm going to go play a game. And these days when a kid says they're going to go play a game, 100% of the time they mean they're going to go play a video game. They're going to go play a game on their computer or their console, right? And this was not the case when I was a kid. If I said I was going out and playing a game or I was just going to play a game, what I was doing is I was going outside. I'm just going to find a few friends and we were going to start tossing a football around or we we're going to, you know, make a, a, a baseball diamond and, you know, play a baseball game or something or ride some bikes, you know, in the trails in the woods by the house. Kids don't do that now because they're connected to the Internet 100 percent of the time. They don't know what it's like to not have role playing games and first person shooters and all of this stuff, you know, available to them 24/7. They 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 don't know that world and it makes me sad because you know like not being connected to the internet, you know, just having nothing to do sometimes sitting at the house, you know, and you think I'm going to go see some of my friends. I'm going to go see some of my family, you know, you have more personal connections. Too. Probably it would improve relationships if people got off the internet. Think about the people that have gaming addictions. Think about the people that have porn addictions. You know, these people that can't go 15 minutes without viewing something like Pornhub. If they didn't have that available to them, so readily available to them, think about how their life would improve, how their personal relationships, their romantic relationships would improve if all of that stuff was, was not there. Anyway, I know this is a real boomer rant because I know I'm I'm going to just be speaking to a brick wall because especially the young crowd is going to they're not going to want to listen to this kind of message at all. But I really think that the Internet should be opt in. I think by default, we should all be disconnected from the Internet and only connect to it when we really, really need it. I also think, I mean, for security reasons, I mean, how do you get your computers hacked? How do you get ransomware and malware and all of that stuff? Well, you get it over the Internet, right? Well, do you think you would get that stuff as often if you weren't connected 24-7? Of course not, right? You would be much more secure if you were disconnected. Anyway, ran over, guys. and I'm going to go back and hopefully uh, check out the sound quality of this video. I know the sound quality is going to be drastically improved. It can only go up because of having this couch in here, but I want to see how much improved it is and see if I need to keep adding stuff. All right, guys. Peace.